In this video, we're going to talk about the bisection method for finding solutions to mathematical equations. So before we do that, let's play a game, a simple guessing game. I'm going to, I want you to guess a number between 1 and 100. I'm thinking of a number, you have to guess it. Now you might guess 50, in which case I'd say higher. And then you might guess 75, in which case I'd say higher. And then 87, and I'd say lower. 81, higher. 84, lower. 82, you got it. Okay, that's simple, and the strategy was easy. You guessed the point in the middle of 0 to 100, and no matter whether I said higher or lower, you'd be down to a smaller range. Now you know it's between 50 and 100, and you guess the middle, that's 75. Once I say higher, you know it's between 75 and 100. You guess the middle, 87. I say lower, you know it's between 75 and 87. You guess the middle. Then you get the middle of the remaining range. You guess the middle, and pretty soon you've narrowed it down and you got the right answer. The bisection method is the same thing for equations. So suppose we want to solve x squared plus x equals 5. Well, you know that 1 is too low because 1 squared plus 1 is 2. You need to go higher. And you also know that 2 is too, low, is too high because 2 squared plus 2 is 6. You need to go lower. So you just guess 1 and a half. You plug in and you say, whoops, I need to go higher. So now you know it's between one and a half and two. So you guess one and three quarters. You need to go higher. You guess one and uh, seven eighths. Whoops, you need to go lower. So now you pick a point halfway between 1.75 and 1.875. And now you need to go lower. And what have we done? At this point, we know that the answer has to be somewhere between 1.75 and 1.8125. We've narrowed it down to a range that's a pretty small range. And our best guess is still halfway in between. And we know that it's 1.78125 plus or minus 0 0.03125. We've got it down to 0 0.03 or so. Okay. Now the actual answer, you can get it from the quadratic formula and it's about 1.79. In our few guesses, we got it down to about 1.78, and it was actually 1.79, pretty close. Okay, so how accurate is this? Well, every step we take, we are cutting our interval by a factor of 2. So every 3 step, we cut it by a factor of 8. Every 10 steps, we cut it by a factor of 1,024, or about 1,000. So that means that every 10 steps, we get 3 more decimal places of accuracy. Or, roughly speaking, we get 0.3 decimal places for every step we take. Okay. It's kind of tedious to do it over and over and over, but it's actually pretty easy to program a computer to do the steps for us. So here's a program to do it for x squared plus x equals 5. We start off with our guesses of 1 and 2. That's our lower and upper bounds. And then we're going to do this 10 times. And for, we do a loop. Our index goes from 1 to 10. And each time, our new guess is going to be halfway between the lower number and the higher number. And we're going to figure out what f is. That's x plus x squared. And then we, what happens next depends on whether f is too low, too high, or just right. If f is too high, if f is bigger than 5, we print out it's too high. And we replace our upper bound with x. If f is less than 5, we print out it's too low, and we replace our lower bound with x. And then we go back, and if it's neither too high or too low, we say, whoa, that's our answer. We set everything into x, and we stop. Okay. If you run this program, then you get output that looks like this. It says x equals 1.5, and then it says it's too low. And then it figures out the next one, x equals 1.75, and it's too low. And it keeps going. And here we go. 1.5 is too low, 1.75 is too low, 1.875 is too high, too high, too low, too high, too low, too high, too low, too high. And in the end, we've got that it's somewhere between 1.7910 and 1.7920. 
that's three decimal places of accuracy. If we'd wanted more accuracy, we just would have done that. We would have taken done our loop 20 times. Let's zoom out to get the whole program in. If we did the loop 20 times, we would have gotten six decimal places of accuracy. If we did it 50 times, we would have gotten 15 decimal places of accuracy. Getting a computer to do many, many, many steps is just as easy as getting it to do a handful of steps. 